Hello there. My objective for this video is to share with you a brief overview and summary of everything that I've learned in the short period of time that I have taken career exploration this semester. I will also be providing important research that I found on a particular career that piqued my interest and is one that I may pursue after I complete this course. Career exploration has helped me a lot because it has allowed me to become more self-aware and the self-reflections that I've done in career exploration have allowed me to better understand myself, my personality, my strengths, and where I see myself headed in my future and in my career goals. To begin, I will start out by sharing with you some of the results that I obtained from my strong interest in the Tory. The three letter code that I got after taking this assessment was ASC, which stands for Artistic, Social, and Enterprise. The specific careers that I researched after taking this particular assessment include musician slash singer, public relations specialist, broadcast announcers, and radio DJs. However, for this particular project, I will be solely focusing on public relations specialists because that career in particular was one that I had a huge passion for and not only did it pique my interest, but it's one that I could see myself pursuing after I complete this course. According to the website Occupational Outlook Handbook, Public relations specialists are responsible for creating and maintaining a positive public image for the clients that they represent. In order to become a public relations specialist, you'll need a bachelor's degree in either public relations, communications, or business. Public relations specialists work for a variety of organizations, such as schools, media buyers, and professional associations. They work in offices, deliver speeches, attend meetings, and occasionally travel. The projected outlook for public relations specialists is faster than average, as the job is expected to grow by 11% over the next 10 years. The four-letter MBTI personality type that I got after taking this particular assessment was INTJ, which is also known as the architect. Three words that best describe my personality type include logical, critical, and ingenious. The five strengths that I currently possess include honesty, love, curiosity, appreciation of beauty and excellence, and self-regulation. I currently use my strengths by having honesty, being an ethical part of my life, and even in my career. Honesty is the best policy that you can have. Love and appreciation of beauty and excellence help to increase my overall happiness and self-awareness. I use self-regulation to help keep me disciplined in anything I do. And curiosity allows me to be open to learning anything. I will use my strengths in the future to allow myself to be pushed further than my comfort zone to take risks and to find my true purpose in life along with achieving my overall career goals. Some of the next steps that I have for myself and what I plan to do in the future to accomplish these goals include that I am transferring to NAU and in spring of 2022 I will be starting my Bachelor's of Interdisciplinary Studies in Strategic Leadership Along with that, I will be actively looking for different internship opportunities that I can pursue to shadow public relations specialists. So that way I can determine if this particular career is suitable for me. Once I obtain my bachelor's degree, I plan on resigning from my current retail job where I am an essential worker and I plan to look for an entry level corporate job for a great company with really strong and positive values. 
so that I can easily integrate myself and transition into the workforce. My purpose statement that I created at the beginning of this class goes as follows. My why is to be remembered as a strong, independent woman and a positive influence throughout the impact and difference I make in the world and in the lives of others. I want to be recognized for my intelligence, my strong and unprecedented work ethic, my extraordinary talents, and a keen eye for creativity, and my desire to attract abundance, success, and peace into my life as a way to be the best version of myself. I will leave you with a quote by Confucius, which says, choose a job you love and you will never have to work a day in your life. Thank you for watching.